Hi, I'm Kyla Kazicek. I teach costume technology here at Louisiana State University. I have a Master of Fine Arts in Costume Technology from Ohio University and a Bachelor of Arts in Theater from University of Central Florida. I've worked at a bunch of different opera companies and Shakespeare theaters, and I'm so excited to share our work here with you today. And I'm joined by... Hi, I am Emma Ahrens. I am a graduate student here at Louisiana State University. I will be receiving a Master of Fine Arts in Costume Technology and Design in May 2021. Currently, I do have a Bachelor of Science uh, in Theater and Hospitality Management from South Dakota State University. I have worked at various theaters around the entire country. Uh, most recently, I've worked at Swine Palace Theaters here at LSU. Um, and we are also joined here today by... Suellen. Hi, my name is Suellen. I'm from Brazil. I have a Bachelor in Fashion Design and I'm doing my MFA at Louisiana State University in Costume and Design. Also, I'm living in the U.S. for like the last four years, and I'm super happy to be here today with this work workshop. Definitely, and I want to clarify, my pronouns are she, her. Good, she, her. Yeah, my pronouns are she, her too. Recording feels awkward, I want to acknowledge that, but we're so happy that y'all are tuning in and joining us, and we're looking forward to the live portion at the end of this. So welcome to Music Inspired Design, Free Your Creativity. The idea with this workshop is, as designers and artists, we often feel stuck. We often hit roadblocks and we struggle to find inspiration. And with this workshop, we hope to give you some tools that can free up your creativity and find inspiration from sources you didn't often look to. So to start, think about where you usually look for inspiration. When you are sitting down to design a costume or a set, or if you are sitting down to come up with your concept for directing a play, or figuring out your character when you're acting in a play, where do you look for inspiration? What inspires you? What influences you? Where might you look that would be somewhere different? Where could you look that's beyond where you usually look? And then, once you have ideas, how do you communicate the ideas that are in your head with the people that you're collaborating with? One of the great things about theater is that it's a collaborative art, and we all get to work together. And that's also one of the main challenges of theater is how we communicate what's in our head with the people that we're working with. This workshop will give you tools to help with that as well. So we did a similar project like this before. And the way the project works and the way that we'll describe to you what we're going to do in our hands-on activity later is we'll play a song and then create art inspired by that song. Essentially that. So when we did this before, we played a song and students that we worked with created this art. Do you want to show yours? Yeah, for sure. So I chose a song from The Cramps and the students that worked on this activity created this beautiful art pieces from this music that you're hearing right now. That would be great. <laughs> and that's the last one. Cool. So the vibe of the song can influence the art that people create. And then we played a drastically different song, and students created, you have your pieces? Right here. That was hmm? this one, right? Yes, this one. Yeah, so you can see the difference in the tone and the color and the shape in the art from Emma's song and the art from Swellen's song. And then here's a third song. And students were inspired to create all kinds of stuff. Some of them are makeup designs, some of them are costume designs, some of them are collages of images, marker designs. And so some of them are more literal and some are more abstract. So 
that's a snippet of what we're going to be creating later. The idea is you can listen to a song and visualize what you see in your head when you, in your head when you hear that song and put that on paper with markers, with pencils, with cut up pieces of magazines, and then you can begin to formulate your idea. We often look to music to inspire the designs that we create for theater. Do you have some examples of yeah, theatrical designs? For sure. So this first piece, this first collage, was devised for a dance concert with uh, a lot of choreographers who had a very distinct image for each one. So it was really important to collaborate not only with other designers, but also the choreographers, the director of the entire thing as well, uh, and attending rehearsals and hearing the music to understand what they want. So one of the first things was from Elephant Wars that they were really interested in. Um, and after collaborating with them, they were like, we really want like army green and like have them look really basically uh, super cool, <laughs> ready to fight. So we started with this collage and after that, we moved, I made a rendering of a possible outfit to create for the design. So that is the first one. Uh, the second one that I have is a tutu that I developed and designed, uh, created from a song called Black and White by Todrick Hall. Um, and I really love the idea of the black and then also the dripping of gold, just the finesse of it and being beautiful. And then finally, wait, do you have the tutu here? Oh yeah, I do. Thank you, Kyla. And then here is the final product. I have my tutu here, um, and we have the drip. I think so. Maybe. I'll lift her up like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have drips of gold um, at the bodice and on the tutu itself. And then the tutu is actually black and white. For sure. And then the final design I have is a uh, work in progress, but I started with this mood board and I've been really into Bridgerton. And if you watch the show, you possibly understand, but this music comes from this um, and it's absolutely beautiful. So while it might not be the silhouettes that we see, but like we have like brocades behind here, um, beautiful columns that are lining the back of the mood board. Um, and I really wanted an unstructured look like that you see in the neoclassical era from this music. So, yeah. Thank you, Kyla. Awesome. Thank you. It's cool to see the drastic difference, drastic difference between the Todger Call song and the Bridgerton song. Yeah, definitely. Music can invoke many different emotions from many different people. So my reaction may be different than Sue Ellen's reaction to those songs. So yeah. that's so exciting, right? Good point. Yeah. Yeah. What that's do you have to share? I have to share. This is a um, designer that I did for a dance show at LSU. And uh, I had a conversation with the choreographer, and then he was directing the show also. And we talked about the show that we have in Brazil that's co called Grupo Corpo. And then he presented this song to me. It's a funny song and it's very moving and then he had the idea to change for some topics like getting kind of dark in the middle of the show. Then I developed this collage that translated a lot of colors and the mood that he wanted to change during the show. And then this is one of the designs that I created that is a dress to have like a lot of movements and it would be for the first part of the show to be more bright and more like simple that they could movement in the stage. Yeah, I dyed the fabric, I did everything and but was totally inspired in this song. And this is a matter of fact, you don't need to understand the lyrics, you don't need to understand like you don't need to, sometimes you don't need to pay attention on that. Just like, as Emma said, what that brings to you. What do you feel with that? This is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the work that I have to share is a few pieces of device work that I worked on. Device work can be a lot of different things. This show, Love and Information, there's actually a script for the show 
but there's not specific characters and a specific arc, if you're familiar with the show. And it's a lot about love. And so I was a lot influenced by, of course, love songs. So hearts, diseases, flowers, people in love, people falling out of love, songs about love. And another show that's called Savage Love is also about love and falling in love and falling out of love and connections that people make with each other. And this was a devised work of physical theater that I worked on where I was really inspired by different kinds of love songs. Still hearts, broken hearts, angry music. Yeah, and the physical thing I brought is something that I created inspired by this music. Not connected to a show, but the chaotic, the colorful, the loud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. What else do we have to share? Yeah. I want to point out to you like how the same emotion changed based off of, like the song that you have. So like how those things can be very different, but so about the same subject. Yeah, good point. Yeah, and think about creation. Like, don't judge yourself because as you can see, there is a lot of different ways to present your design. Like you can do, you can use a Photoshop, you can use collage of pictures if you wanna, and you can like draw when like using markers. It's whatever you want. Like, don't judge yourself, just do it. For yes, sure. that's wonderful advice. All right, are we ready to break this portion and start the next portion? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think it's important to say, this is the time that we're gonna go and get our supplies. And I'm so excited to do that. Yes, awesome, let's do it. Yeah. All right, now it's time for the hands-on activity portion of this workshop. So for this, you're gonna need some art supplies. Whatever you have on hand. What do you have lying around? Do you have pencils? Do you have colored pencils? Do you have masking tape. tape? Do you have markers? Do you have magazines you can cut up to make collages? What else? Uh, we also have digital realm. Yeah. yeah, so do you have like paint on your computer? Do you have Photoshop? Do you have an iPad? Do you have Procreate? These are the perfect times to do that, especially if you are at your computer already, just pop open a new window and you can create with us. Yeah, put like some pictures together and just feel the song and then work out. Yeah, feel the song and work it out. So take a minute to look around your room, look around your house. Are you at school? Do you need to ransack the drawers at school? Find what supplies are nearby, what you can create art with. If we were together in person, we'd be providing supplies for you, but in digital realms, find what you got. It can be anything. It can be just a pencil, it can be a ballpoint pen. What kind of paper do you have? Do you have sketch paper? We have this craft paper. Notebook paper would be fine. Mm -hmm. Construction paper. Whatever you have on hand, whatever you could create art on. Typing paper would be fine. Scrap paper. Do you I have cardstock? Yeah, yeah, if you want to glue on top of a magazine using yeah. the ba the base, it'd be nice too. Like create something on top that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any kind of magazines, any kind of junk mail. Look, junk take, mail yeah. that are perfect for yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna cut it up and throw it away anyway. So yeah, take a minute, look around your house, look around your space, dig up your supplies, and assemble them at your spot in front of you. And in a moment, we're gonna start the activity. We're gonna play a song and we're gonna create art inspired by that song. It can be abstract, it can be literal. If you see something in your head that is literal, sure, depict that. But if you just see lines and shapes and forms, let the song influence you and create what you're influenced by. Definitely. I also wanna to want to challenge you to keep your creativity in the limitation of the time of the song. Uh, so, most of these songs you have about like three to five minutes to create something um, and that's part of it I think that just forces you to sit down and create um, instead of thinking about it too much yes don't limit yourself just do it yes. just do it like Nike <laughs> yeah you're limited by the time of the song so you don't have endless time to overthink it you have to just create something while the song is playing correct cool do we feel ready I am ready Yes, we have our supplies assembled. 
hopefully by now y'all have assembled something. So we're gonna start with the first song. Let's get into it. There's about a minute and a half remaining. Oh. So get your ideas down. Okay, that's it. All right, that was so fun. Wow, we created a lot of stuff. Yes. Both of they're all very different. I it's so say. cool how they're so different. For sure. So as you look at your own work, reflect on it. Did what you create reflect what was in your mind's eye? What would you have done differently if you had more time? What would you have finished that is unfinished? What did you create in that small kernel of time that speaks to the emotion that the song brought up for you. What would you add to it if you had more time? Yeah, I feel like I would like to share some of my stuff. This is actually a song that I chose. Um, it's called Bulls Make Money, Bears Make Money, Pigs Get Slaughtered uh, by Kyotos. Uh, and the emotions that I got were very nostalgic because I listened to this type of music a lot in high school, like probably way too much and way different than like what I actually looked like in high school. So it'd be very shocking if you saw me listen to this music then. Um, but my initial thoughts were black, like I must have black and I have to have some sort of straight lines in it. Um, but I also thought about like circles and like sinking 
because what we're going to get into next, one of the lyrics is, um, she's sinking, she's sinking. So like having those lines towards the center of my collage of this beautiful ballerina and this gorgeous outfit um, around this green tuck tape um, really stood out to me in that song. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. What images did the song evoke for you? Yeah, it's funny because I didn't pay too much attention on the lyrics was much more like the feeling and I just could think about shape and like straight lines, the straight lines going to on top of this girl who at the same time can be like happy or not, like she's looking for something, I don't know, but I just wanted to do some shapes on top of this and risk her face and bring the idea like, even it's like a rock song, I would think something colorful, like yeah. more neon stuff, because sure. yeah, that's what my idea for it. Yeah, I also heard the heaviness of the song, and I picked up on the lyrics, it's, did my heart love till now for swear at sight? That's from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So as I was looking through the magazines to think of what connected in my head to the song, I thought about love, and I thought about couples in love, and looking in your lover's eyes, but then also surrounded by the jagged, harsh rock riffs of the song. Yes. It's so cool how we each got something so different. Yeah, I think that the nice thing here is like, we don't have time to think. You just like need to do and put together and choose whatever you want, like shapes or idea or a concept of like a couple or like straight lines or like a circle. Stick to that and just go it. <laughs> yes. Sure. Are we ready to do it again? I am ready. So in this next song, maybe let yourself be influenced by the lyrics, maybe let yourself be influenced by the vibe of the song, maybe create, well, we'll get to that next, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm not afraid of 
One more minute. positivity and that comes through so much for me in that song like the vibe of it is connected to me to New Orleans and fond memories that I have of that city and that city is so vibrant and what speaks to me is the joy and the chaos and that's what I saw as I was going through images like bright vibrant colors and I stumbled upon this image of food which is also a big connection to New Orleans for me so I think I went in some ways a little bit more literal in the what the song brought up for me thinking of New Orleans, thinking of food, thinking of bright colors, and joy and chaos. What did it bring up for y'all? Yeah, I think I had the same experience, like, <laughs> to bright colors and uh, everything put together, flowers, colors, markers, fruits, too, yeah. And I love this band, too. It's <laughs> I had so much feelings about this. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it's really interesting that you guys saw, like, a lot of colors. Because, like, immediately in my head, I saw this page, and I saw the black and white city background that you... And New Orleans has a beautiful landscape in general. So I really wanted to showcase that. So I put this as my base. And then immediately a scene of beautiful women just walking down the street being uh, a boss to each other. Um, and there's, like, a lyric about how this man pulled out his wallet... So like, I just assume they are so cool that men take out their wallets and hand it to them and then they just walk away. Um, so this is the scene that was playing in my head. So it was really important for me to find beautiful women. And then I'll, like, I found a quote that says, women is a crown. And then like on this one, it says, women is a feeling. And I was like, yes. So yeah, that's what I got from it. <laughs> I think this is the nice thing about theater that you can make the same play like a hundred times but you always gonna have a different vision of sure. a different design a different idea I think this is the nicest part about theater and creative like yes that's awesome I really appreciate that you saw such a clear image in your head yeah that's awesome this is so much fun I hope that y'all are having fun too all right, are we ready to move into the final song? Yes. So for this one, maybe challenge yourself, if you haven't already, to think about your discipline. Maybe you're a costume designer, maybe you're a scenic designer. Maybe when you hear this song, you have a vision of a set in your head, or a lighting look, or a certain prop, or a makeup design, or not, or you can keep abstract as we've been abstract so far. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Minha carne é de carnaval, meu coração é igual, minha 
minha de carnaval Meu coração é igual Aqueles que tem uma seta em quatro letras de amor Por isso onde quer que eu ando em qualquer pedaço eu faço song <laughs> of course in Portuguese this song uh, the guy talks about how his flesh is made from carnival and his heart is the same how he's into carnival how he loves how he is part of this it's like something that is in his body and I put someone like dressing a costume already but I created like something colorful behind for me, because I think that how that's how I see carnival, and I think if, if I would present that for like a design or an idea, I would say like a lot of colors and a lot of like decor, like shapes, and yeah, I would do that. And what about you, Carmel? Mine is so different. I don't speak Portuguese, I have not heard this song before, and it sounded so glamorous to me. And as I was first flipping through a magazine, I saw this glamorous image of Rihanna, and I, that is what I saw. And so I was challenging myself to think of a costume and makeup design, and I saw glamour. I saw jingling bangle bracelets, and not a bodysuit, but a flowing dress with a slit in the side, and like a glamorous, flowing black dress, like hugging to the curves of the body, but then moving with the music, and then classic glamour, like, knowing that I only had a couple minutes, and usually when I do a makeup design, I spend a lot more time on it, but just to get my initial ideas down. Red lip, blush cheek, dark smoky eye with lots of lashes. And I know it's messy, I know it's not perfect. If I was gonna talk to a director about the character, I would take another stab at it, but if this was just my initial idea, my initial reaction, I've come up with something, and now I can move on to the next step of refining it further. What did you awesome. 
Yeah, well, similar to you guys, um, I thought about the colors. I thought about um, the colors that initially came from the song. And for uh, me, a lot of the colors were green, yellow, and even this orange, <laughs> which was kind of a bit later, but it definitely came into. So I picked this image out originally of this beautiful woman and this patterned shirt because I loved the pattern and the coloration of it. So I cut it out and then I found these beautiful bamboo leaves. So I put that there. Um, and then I was like, what if I just like drew the dress on top of this? Like I love the pattern and I love the colors. So like, why don't I just do that? Um, and since so it's magazines, I used a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I got the orange. And just like Kyla, I saw this beautiful gown with a slit up the leg. I don't know where that came from, but that's what I saw. Um, and I didn't complete the her as a full person, um, but I had her legs, her arms, and her neck. Um, also with this really intricate bodice with like points. Like I see like points of leaves as well. So I think that's really interesting. Yeah, you thought about the shape. Yeah, I thought about the shape. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, it's also so cool to see all of our work all together and see the contrast between each different song and each different person and what we came up with and how they're so different. For sure. Yeah, it's clear that each one has like their own static of, to present that. That's something super nice as a designer. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely learn about your own aesthetic from this exercise, which is fantastic. Yeah. I'm so excited to see what y'all created. Hopefully you created something that you're proud of, something, if you created anything, I encourage you to be proud of it because you created something. There was nothing and now there's something. There was nothing on this table when we started and now there are all these things which could morph into something else. They could be jumping off points for discussion or collaboration. And at least we've got initial ideas down and we can build on them and they can grow in different ways. For sure. Do we have anything else that we want to add to the people before we talk to them live? No, I'm just so excited. I'm excited yeah. to see what you created. Yeah. All right. We'll see you in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.